Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on The Buccaneers, a movie that uh, has a very deceptive title in my view. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys books 1 through 12 available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Okay, so... So many things wrong with this trailer. I'm going to let you know right now. I absolutely hate this movie. Um, it's called The Buccaneers. I thought it was going to be about pirates. <laughs> so I clicked on it. Instead, it's probably the girliest woke movie I've ever seen. This movie looks to be a story written by somebody who's super woke, who kind of reads some of Jane Austen. And incorporated a little bit of that, but then, of course, uh, then the movie producers got a hold of it, and then they recast everybody, and uh, it, it, it just, it's completely insane. It's a completely insane movie, in my view. The music's wrong. <laughs> the music's totally modern. Um, it's got a feminist message. It takes place uh, Victorian times, so you could have the costumes. That's, a, that's I think, the only reason it's set there is so the the women could uh, oh let's have the costumes <laughs> oh everybody will dress up so nice and then there'll be parties and high society it'll be like uh downington abbey <laughs> there's uh, a girl on girl kiss in this of course um various uh you know it's a it's a diversity rainbow even though it's uh, some sort of english lords you know the the whitest people on earth uh, but no, don't worry. There's there's plenty of plenty of brown faces in this mix. Um, what are you doing? Who is this for? I uh, I guess like a twelve year old might might like this. I get I guess it's what who it's for really. So you know somebody who could look at it and not have any sense of history whatsoever uh, or the time period. I. Uh, you know, what is it? It's a love story, of course, because it's aimed at women, and I'll say more accurately, girls. And it's just the girliest damn thing. It's just girls drinking, having a good time, being invited to places, going to parties, dating, uh, dating too many guys, and, oh, uh, having such intrigue. <laughs> Where are the pirates? What happened to the pirates? Why did you even call this the Buccaneers? Why don't you just call this girly, girly, girly town? Why don't you just call it the Lord Girly? Because that's what it is. And it's all girl bosses. Oh, these these girls. There's a scene, uh, I guess it's a debutante's ball, and the debutantes have to have numbers. And, and the American girl is like, oh, they're like cattle. Because <laughs> you know in the Victorian era, uh, the women would speak up all the time. Yeah. You can't have it both ways, ladies. Either, either women in the past were very oppressed and uh, hated it, and wanted to speak out, but couldn't, else they would be, you know, taken out back and hit with a switch, or the the reality, which was uh, they were fine with most of it, and uh, this was just the way things were done, and uh, for the most part, women were quite respected because they had their roles, and they had, uh, you know, their things to do, and everybody, and the men, you know, did things for them. This guy couldn't shave for the role. <laughs> what the what the hell's going? No, no, leave a little stubble. The girls like that. It's like this is the craziest movie. It, there's not a single male who worked on this thing who who had any power, is my guess. Uh, they just they just say, oh no no no, we've got to make it like a romance novel. It is completely romance novel. Uh, nothing in this is reality, as far as I could tell, other than the fact they, I think they are in England. I think they actually shot it in England. It's from Apple TV. So, I mean, I guess for a complete fantasy for women, uh, that might be of value to uh, some women. I just want something romantic. Okay. Okay. There's a girl and girl kiss in there, too, just heads up. So first act, uh, I don't know. They're they're spoiled rich New Yorkers, and then they get invited to London by their spoiled rich English friends, go to a debutante's ball or something, and then 
there's intrigue, castle intrigue, and there's a, there's men, and they and they fall in love, and the, oh, but she falls in love with two people. Do, will she pick the duke or the or the brown boy? I don't know. And you know, it goes back and forth throughout the second act, and then finally at the end, uh, there's probably a big marriage. I'm gonna guess. Probably a marriage at Christmas, like every rom com thing. So you already got Victorian clothes, you already got intrigue, you already got woke diversity, DEI. So all you need is Christmas and a wedding, and you've got everything other than pirates with their shirts off, which is what the title would imply. <laughs> what the F? Do you even know what buccaneers are? Do you even know what buccaneers are? It's not even the right time period for buccaneers. Who wrote this? <laughs> I'm voting it down. Sorry, ladies. Um, yeah, there's nothing, nothing, no write up on it. Let let let's uh, read the 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 comments. Looks like Bridgerton, but more fun, feminist, and happy. I'll definitely watch it. Okay. Oh, it looks like you got some audience here. And you thought Bridgerton was woke? I definitely will be watching. Hallmark movie on financial steroids. Um, yeah, is that what Hallmark's turned into now? These kinds of movies? Sure, let's show British aristocracy as boring and sexist, but American newcomers as free and progressive. Give me a break. As if they didn't come from, come there as money bags, essentially. <laughs> uh, okay. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny that even the people who kind of like this stuff realize it's all BS. I mean... This would be, I guess, like an action movie for guy, for guys, like, you know. But action movies make sense because physics is real. I mean, this this just makes no sense. This is, and it's not like you set it in a world that doesn't exist. You set it in reality, but you claim this is the reality. Oh, man, they just couldn't wait. They, I think the first person that got called on this movie were the costume designers. <laughs> We're doing a movie. Oh, can I make the costumes? Um, God. Look, at least be honest. Don't call it the Buccaneers. God, I can't get past that name. Call it, um, you know, A Night at the Castle. Something romantic. If anything, you've hurt your own cause by calling it the Buccaneers. Um, call it the Ladies of New York. They go to, they go to London. Um, uh, something. Is there going to be a trans person in this too? That would that would be the topper. That would be the ultimate topper. Oh, there's a trans person. You know, you know, uh, uh, Catherine isn't normal because <laughs> there wouldn't be any any way to explain it in this era. That'd be funny. Uh, okay, all right, the Buccaneers, ladies. That one's definitely for you. And that's it for me, Tony D. And Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. Um, I'm going to be doing a... What the heck am I doing? A, tomorrow, I'm doing the South Jersey Writers Association. It's a, it's a Zoom call, so you got to be a, a member to uh, be part of it. But if you could join it before tomorrow, there you go. We'll see you in the next one.